Hello guys, welcome back to the second try in the Oman campaign. First try, we were getting wrecked by Unluck because all the armies were at Yemen. Really unfortunate. We are gonna play Iron Man mode and we will try again. I think the rivals will be the same, Hedjas will also always be friendly to you, at least in my test runs. And hopefully we'll have a better start this time. Maybe we have to take out Nasht first. But hey, maybe they don't take the same alliances again. So, remove the fort, too expensive. Trade in... Hormuz. Take your rivals, Yemen. Nasht. And I take Hormuz. I can do the remove Hormuz from the map. Let's let's try that. You know, we can do something different. Two more infantry, one more cavalry. You're gonna trade. Um, general. Well, of course now we get a shitty general. Yep. Thank you, game. Thank you for ruining it again. Uh, well, we have a claim on Hormuz now, right? Yes, we can go to war with them immediately, and I... Maybe that is that should be the thing, but I think Yemen and Nasht will send Condottieri. But we will see. We will see. Get an alliance with you. Go to speed 2. Maybe speed 3. So once again... If you don't know what this uh, run is about, watch part 1, please. And you have no allies. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh yeah, first 11th of December, I'm just gonna declare war. Let's see if we can get Hormuz out. There is a chance. Yemen allied. No one yet. They will. I... Yeah, we are allied. Okay. On the 11th of December we can declare war. There we go. And of course now you are allied with Shamar. And Shamar is allied with only Hormuz. This could be an opportunity. Because if I declare war... And Hetjas doesn't join. That is really bad actually. Man, can I get military access from you? I can. Okay, that is good. Um, I'm gonna go for it. I did not did not do this in my test run, but we will see. Navy, you need to go here. Shamar joined the war. No, I'm not gonna marry you. Why don't you want to join me? I thought we were allies. <laughs> but of course they don't, because they don't hate the player. The nation that he is playing. You have one shock general. I'm waiting for my troops to come. There they are. And then we will go for Hormuz. It's a level 1 fort, so that should be not that hard. Um, and in the meantime, claim all of Nasht and Yemen. Nasht still has no allies. Really? Why are you moving that way? Ugh. It's so stupid. Move here. There we go. Attack! And see if we will win this. We have a river crossing, minus two penalty. But we have four more units. Come on, that should be ours. This should be ours, game. We are flanking him. Game. We are flanking him. Hey, look! Shamar is here! Isn't that cute? Hello. Are you going to siege my capital? I would love you to stay there for a while. Thank you. 
I will come for you when I seize Hormuz. And the Timurids warned us not to go to war with any countries they border. So we were just in time to take Hormuz. Uh, Yemen. Only allied with Shamar this time. And Nash still has no allies. What? What is this? Is this some sorcery or something? What a different start, guys. No big alliance tree against us. At the moment. It could still happen. It could still happen. And the thing is, if I take down Shamar right now... There is our heir, a 443. I forgot to set my focus on admin power. There we go. I can take those two options. You know that already from part one. Need to get our stability back up. But yeah, if I take Shamar's territory, I can only vassalize him. We could. We could vassalize Shamar. That is true. And I think I will have to do that. Because I cannot take their territories. Because I don't have a border. I'm gonna I'm gonna vassalize Shamar. It's a pity that we don't, don't uh, annex it, but still. Etias entered a alliance with Nasht. What? What is this? What? What a weird start! What a weird start! But I think it's easier now. We will see. We will see. So I will take down Yemen, who, ha who won't have any allies very soon. And then we have to fight Hedyas with Shamar as our vessel. Hmm, could be a thing. Could, could work. Maybe. Maybe that works. So we are at 7%. Uh, we have 20 points here, so let's claim all the stuff. That we can. We can only claim two things. We can claim one on Yemen. We'll just claim all the stuff so we don't have to pay Diplo power when we annex the provinces. Uh, stability. Come on, siege it. Good job. We will have a naval battle here, which we are going to win. And we are going to try to take down this army. That should be doable because we have two more. We have one more cavalry and we will flank him. So we are going for it. There we go. We are at our manpower. We are only losing 84 units. Kill their navy. Stack wipe? No. We have a 3-4-3 air this time, which is better than the previous run. Okay. Well, if you have access, then I have access, right? Yes, I do. But the first war will be a successful one. Unless they declare war on me right now. And I think I'm gonna try to get a alliance with the Ottomans in the long run. So, let's improve the relations with the Ottomans. We want this territory for ourselves, and so we should make this ourselves before the Ottomans reach it. That is going to be the hard task. Keep the Ottomans at bay. Take this for ourselves. But we will see if we can succeed. Yeah, his army is going to die. That is one thing to be sure about. Is he going here? I think so. You have only 4,000 troops, Nasht. Really? Good to know. 
Good to know. And we should go here. Shift consolidate so we fight better. And hopefully this will be a stack wipe. And the answer is yes. They have no army left. Siege it. Siege it. And siege their capital. And there we go. That's going to be the first war. We will have a vessel and we will uh, have Hormuz so we have more trade power. It's going to be a good start I think. Hopefully. 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 We can go back to protect the trade in Hormuz. Because now we make 1.6 trade and it will be even more now. Let's see. Oh. There goes 50 Diplo power. Yeah, we almost make two trade ducats. That's really good. Really nice. And we are looting their territories. There's a little bit of loot here. Did we loot Hormuz? Yes, we fully looted Hormuz already. And as you can see, our manpower is almost down already. Because we are very poor. I think we can go to speed 4 for a moment. Did we fully loot this province? Yes, we did already. Um, we we'll get you out and loot this province. So, 3 development. Tree development, tree development. Yeah, it's a very poor country. Very poor. And we are looting faster because of our cavalry. If you have cavalry units, they loot provinces faster. Gain piety, please. Cavalry is the best looter in the game. We can take another light ship. Yeah, we can make two more. Uh, can we end this war already? Oh, do I, no, I want to get the loot first, I think. Yeah. I want to take all the loot. We're also having attrition, so we are losing manpower. I think we have to go mercenaries at the start. Maybe two or three units. And another object objective will be to take Jerusalem. And Mecca. Very soon. Because we get extra mer missionaries if we get those uh, sites. Did we fully loot this one? Yes. Move all your troops there then. And take the loot. Please. I can take another claim on Nash. We have 25 points. There we go. So you are done. We can come back. Almost done with looting. And attrition. So we are not sieging this anymore. Let's see if I can... Wait, 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 wait. Let's send... You guys over there. So we fully looted all the provinces. Let's see if I can take them as a vessel already. I don't have their capital, so I don't know. Maybe. Uh, no. No. We need to take the capital first. Okay, fine. And we can claim something here. Come on guys, siege it. Do you have any claims I can use? Yeah, you have a claim on Haza and who... Haza has no ally, so... I could feed Haza to Shamar, but the thing is, if Shamar is getting too big, then they will get rebellious against us and that is what we don't want. 
I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's see how uh, uppity they are when we have them as a vessel. We are gonna do that right now. You become my vessels, keep your claims, please. And how much money do you have? Uh, I want it. I need it more than you. So there we go. 27. Diplo power only. A little bit of prestige. And I would say... Shit. I should have sent my troops home first. But luckily we can get uh, military access here. And as you can see they are already... Disloyal. Oh my god, they are disloyal already. Holy shit. How will this go, guys? I don't know. Anyway. Need to peace out, and then we send our troops home. Maybe if we take this province, we are uh, stronger compared to them. And they will not be uppity anymore. Of course, you have some money, because you have a trade dinky. There we go. Arbus is now ours. Get more prestige and manpower recovery speed. I'm gonna wait with that though. And I am going to raise the autonomy here. Trust me, if you don't do this, you're getting rebel stacked everywhere. And this is what you should do. In my test run, it was not doable without raising autonomy. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, are you still apathy? You are. Why? I'm stronger now. Uh, they don't like me. I need to improve relations. But first I want military access so I can go home. What? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Um, automatic transport? Uh, yes, do it. Use the ships, please. And improve relations here, because you are very uppity. Holy shit. Did you get you below 50%? And then we, were f we are fine. Convert Hormuz to Ibadi. How long will that take? 59 months. Holy shit. That's a good mission, because then our missionary strength will go up. Improve prestige, not gonna happen. 50? No, that's not gonna happen. This is also not gonna happen. Because I, don't, I won't wait until I have my manpower back. So this is the only mission we can do at the moment. So let's take it. Uh, we have more trade power now, I think. Do we own all the important centers here? I think we do. Yeah, but the Timurids just have a lot of land. So they have uh, some trade power. I can take another rival. I can rival Haza, Hedyas, and well, Yemen is now allied with Marehan, this nation here. Lol. You are still allied with Hedyas. You have no allies. Oh, that you are allied with Hedyas is so stupid. Yeah, the next war will be against Yemen. For sure. Have some good amount of money. Can I make more ships? I think I can. Yes, I can. Let's make one more ship. And how is our force limit? We can make one more soldier. Let's go to speed 4 and wait for our troops to arrive home. And an alliance with the Ottomans is going to be really hard. As you can see, we are not that strong, we are far away, we don't have the same religion. Uh, we should get more diplomatic reputation, but we I don't want to spend my money at the moment on advisors, I think. Hmm, missionary strength could be nice, but we are not making money. No, 
I'm gonna wait with it. For now. Should lower the maintenance. Make a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can b come back home because we won't get an alliance anyway. Hasa would love to take an alliance right now. And I think I'm gonna do this. Normally I would love to take them down for myself. But I think having Shamar and Hasa as allies against uh, Yemen and later against Hedjaz and Nasht is a really good way to start. So I'm gonna take an alliance. Get their extra troops at our side. We don't have to fight against it. There we go. Uh, military access, yeah, keep it. That's fine now. No marriage, no, because I will eat you later. But I'm not, not gonna tell you. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Which are we gonna take as a rival then? Not Haza at the moment. I think we have to rival Hetjas then. No, they are my ally. They are my ally at the moment. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, rival Baluchistan. And embargo them. I think our ships are done. Yes, protect trade again in Hormuz. Give me the monies, please. And I think my vessel likes me more now. Uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to do this. I want to do enforce religion. Why are they so uppity? Because they are very strong. And the opinion is bad and the trust is bad. Okay, so we need to get our opinion up. Can I marry you? Yes, I can. That is gonna help as well, right? Yes, it did. Minus 5% royal marriage. Okay, that is going to be the end of the second part. I hope to see you in the next part. We finally have a decent start, I think. With a vessel and a good ally. And another good ally. So, I think we will have a better start this time. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.